people of the purple butterfly here otherwise known as people of seven on twitter and youtube people are elsewhere on the internet my blog is located at purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot.com my soaps purple butterfly soaps can be located at people dot etsy dot com my t-shirt designs purple butterfly dash people dot tmail dot com and here we go phase two is solidified enough to cut so that's what we're going to do but the first thing I'm going to do is not actually cut a slice. I'm going to cut the loaf. Because I found out a long time ago, it really, really, really bothers me to the point of no end when my loaf is longer than my cutting board. So, if it's a crooked edge or whatever, then that will be uh, a personal bar or so forth or so on. There. But, oh, that's pretty. Tell you what, let me show you. Hmm. Look at that texture. Yeah. It's got coffee grounds and orange rinds in there. This is my second attempt to cut this today. Well, actually third. The first attempt was the video previous and it just was too soft. And the next attempt was when I took the um, backboard you know, that the soap was sitting on off of the mode. And then, three minutes in, I found out I wasn't actually recording. The camera had turned itself off. So, here we go. Isn't that pretty? Five pound loaf. There's plenty of these to go around. And as you can tell, with a soap that doesn't actually have a swirl, you see one good slice and you know what the rest of them look like. So I'm just going to cut it. and enjoy the coffee scent it has a light coffee scent it might develop more as it cures but I actually put the scent in there not for the soap itself because it's a shelf soap which means it is a natural deodorizing soap it's naturally highly cleansing it cleans off them smells from like garlic and onion and all this stuff that chefs have to deal with. My son's a chef and I designed that as an option for him. But when you make a soap that has a lard base, sometimes that lard scent, I don't like it. But when lard cures, there's no scent whatsoever, but at the time of cutting, I want something nice to smell instead of um, the smell of baking grease. So that's why I put a scent in here. <laughs> it's an odd reason, especially since I am the one who actually made a bacon scented soap that was red and white. And I did it on purpose. <laughs> I live in Cincinnati, Ohio, home of the Porkopolis. And um, we love our bacon. And some of us like the smell of a bacon candle. I have one. 
if you burn your food or whatever, that baking candle makes your whole kitchen smell amazing. And nobody has to know you burned anything. But by the same token, I like the scent of a bacon soap. It doesn't actually smell like bacon on you. Well, it does, but it doesn't. It doesn't smell like you just had breakfast or lunch or dinner. It just smells kind of bacony. <laughs> that didn't make sense, but I know what I mean. Okay, now. These did come out a little shorter than I was thinking, but then again, I'm using the Lucy mode. It makes a standard size bar of soap, ten pound, uh, five pounds of it. I have two of those modes, so I could do ten pounds of soap at a time. But what I'm thinking is. When I want the bar to present a little bit taller than a standard and, you know, put a frosting on the top or, you know, uh, in bits or whatever. Now this little piece here will be for the kitchen. Hold on. There we go. It said YouTube has Failed, unfortunately. Okay, report, click here. And that's what happened last time. Then next thing I know, I wasn't recording anymore. So just in case it wanted to have issues, I went ahead and pushed the button. That way I don't have to try to record the same thing over and over and over, especially since, you know, there's like almost no more soap to cut. <laughs> Because now we have this part of it. And since this is the side that got cut off, I'm going to start it from here that way I know I have a nice even side. And then, if nothing else, we'll end up with a different soap ball over there. That will be for the house. Okay. Thing I do like about the chef soap when it's time to clean the um, cutting the soap cutter and there it goes again I don't know what's going on with YouTube but it's starting to annoy me but when it's time to clean the soap cutter and the blade it scrubs that right off almost better than my just soap bar and so for the chef soap it's designed to clean up hands after cooking and all that whereas my dish soap bar is designed to clean up the dishes so either way my kitchen is highly blessed when I want to clean anything from hot lye to dirty dishes I have my dish soap bar that cuts through grease like you would not believe which is important when you make soap and you're using different oils and then we have my chef soap here that cleans anything that got on my hands off of my hands. Yeah. And sometimes I use them both interchangeably. Yeah. I also use the chef soap sometimes for my face because those um, pieces of the coffee and the orange rind is very exfoliating without being damaging. It's like these soap scrubs that they have out now is using anything from walnut kernels to apricot kernels, which is still natural and very exfoliating, but it's exfoliating to the point where it would take the skin off of your body. That's too exfoliating for me. Okay, and that one goes straight through. But, 
past you could tell, or maybe you can't because I'm too far away. That's crooked because that was the piece I cut off the bottom. So that's going to be a house one. And yeah. <laughs> this is a bad day for this um, soap cutting. Today, everything wants to escape. Give me one second. Let me go grab that blade. Fortunately, that was my personal bar, so no big loop. Yeah. And anything that fell, well, it's soap. It'll wash up the first time I wash it. Yeah, let me tap this YouTube thing again. I'm not live, so I don't know why it keeps doing that. Alright. So, this has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube. People of Elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com. My soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at people.etsy.com. And my t-shirt designs, purplebutterfly-people.tmail.com. Y'all stay blessed and stay tuned. Bye now.